Somebody's walking up here, Pa. I wonder who that is. Oh, it's that cheapskate, Nate. I wonder what he wants. Hurry up, Junior. Put the clothes sign up. Hey, 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 what's going on there, Nate? Hey, man, how's it going? Hey, what can we help you with? Uh, I'm actually in uh, need of a spark plug. Oh, okay. I got one right here. Here you go. Two dollar and fifty cents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two fifty. I was thinking uh, maybe you got to use one. You want a used spark plug? <laughs> a used spark plug like from out of the garbage? No, I ain't got no used spark plug. Oh. Hey, hold on, hold on, pal. Hold on, pal. Oh, yeah. We got one right here. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Whoa, whoa. How about uh, fifty cents? Fifty cents. What do you think? This is a garage sale? Whoa, 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 whoa. Fifty cents is fine. Yeah, that'll work. All right, fifty cents. Well, uh, well, uh, I don't have money on me. Let me see if my girlfriend's got fifty cents out in the car. All right. Well, you go do that, Nate. All right, well, I'll be back in a second. Okay, we'll be here. All right. Jeez, now I know why they call him Cheapskate Nate. He ain't even got 50 cent on him. Gotta go get it from his girlfriend. <laughs> wow. Oh, Junior! Ah, ah, what, ah? Guess who's back? Who? Cheapskate Nate. Oh, great. Really? What does he want? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Here he comes. Oh, uh, hey there, Daryl. Hey, Nate. Back again? Yeah. I was uh, wondering uh, how much for a set of blades for a 42 Craft? They're $30 a set. Oh, uh, wow. Man, that's out of my price range. Whoa, hey, whoa. Check it out, Nate. We got a set right here. Used. How about fifteen dollars? And uh, how much put edge on them? Uh, two, so five a few. That'd be ten more dollars. You're at twenty-five now. Oh, all right, all right. Let's do that. All right, sounds good. I'll go uh, sharpen these up real quick. Okay, great. Uh, I don't have any cash on me. I'm gonna have to run out to my girlfriend's car and see if she's got some. Okay. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, we'll be here. All right, great. Cheapskate. For another five dollars, he could have bought a brand new set. I'll be with you in a second. Oh, uh, hey, Daryl. Oh, Nate. What do you need this time? I need some oil. Oil is three fifty a quart. Uh, 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 this might sound like a long shot, but uh, you got any used oil? Yeah, we got used oil. Junior! Nate's back! He wants some used motor oil. Get him some oil. Uh, enough for a push mower. Alright, coming right up. Yeah, perfect. Right here. This has got some real old oil in it. Here you go, Nate. Coming right up, buddy. <laughs> All right, I got some used oil right here. All right, there you go, sir. Well, well, how good is this oil? Well, I don't know. Taste it. Oh, all right. Yeah, they they pretty good. How much you want for it? How's uh two fifty sound? Two fifty. Whoa, whoa. How about a dollar? Dude, I had to go out there, drain it out of an old mower. Dollar fifty. All right, got it sold. Uh, I, I don't have any money on me right now. I'm gonna have to go out to my girlfriend's car. She she's got some money. What a surprise. All right, yeah, come back when you got the money. All right, well, I'll be back in a second for that. Pterodactyl here, and today's how-to video is gonna be on this here 30-inch Toro Time Master. 
Whatever the heck that means. Time man. Alright. Say you hit something with this thing and it threw the timing off. I'm going to show you how to retime the blade. First thing we're going to do is put the handle in this position. You do that by pushing on that lever. Gas cap up. And if you got it full of gas, you can take this off and put a bag over it. Put the cap back on. See? Blades are out of time. They're hitting. So I'm going to show you how to time it. Because this guy hit something. 3 8 socket. 1, 2, 3, 4 bolts. Takes this cover off. Then you're going to need a half inch wrench and a half inch socket. And you're going to loosen this bolt here. You're going to loosen this bolt and that nut. You'll have to take it all the way off. Just get it loose. Bring it right to the end of the threads there. Now, this thing is supposed to slide. So you can take the tension off the belt. But you can see this is all packed up full of crap. So you should clean all this out. So we're going to cut and I'm going to go clean all this so we got a better look at how this works. Okay, it's all cleaned up. Now you can see it a little better. See, now there's a bolt down there. You don't have to tighten or loosen that bolt. It's, it's like a little shoulder bolt. So just get this to the end so that gives you some slack. Then we're going to take this pulley off. Half inch again. Now sometimes these pulleys are stuck to the deck with paint. So you might have to take a pry bar and pop it off. But this one seems like it's coming off, see? Sometimes they get stuck. So you might have to give it a little help. And then that gives you more slack. So we got that off. Belt's loose. Now we're going to flip it up again. Okay, now we got to put the blades in the proper order, which is timing them. So you want this one horizontal and this one vertical. But now this stuff is going to move on you. So we need to lock one of these pulleys. So if you got a pair of locking pliers, come over here. And you see this hole is right here in the top. Put these locking pliers in there. And that'll hold that from moving. Okay? So now you're there and there. So now you can come over here. I know Mr. Cameraman's bouncing all around. And you gotta get this belt in these grooves now. And you wanna make sure this one's... So we're gonna kinda try to pull that tight. Come around, make sure ours is still horizontal. Looks like I can go with another tooth here. There we go. And I'm going to push on that, and then we're going to take our pulley, put the pulley back on. That's going to help hold it in time for us. Snug it up. All right, now we can go and look, make sure we're still. I probably should go one tooth the other way. So if that happens, just put that pulley back off. I mean, they're not going to hit, even in this position I got them in now. But if you're a perfectionist,
All right. So that's what you could do if you want to get it right on. One tooth off probably isn't going to matter. They're probably not going to hit. Yeah, that looks better. Take them locking pliers off. Now you can tighten up this bolt in the front to put tension on the belt. The half inch wrench and the half inch socket. Now we're sucking this pulley in. You don't want to go real super tight. There, that's good. Now we're going to give it a spin. See? Make sure they're not hitting. Now, if you did hit something, you're going to want to check this hub. So take the blade off and check this hub. Make sure these little tips didn't get sheared off. And if they did, the hub part number is 120-5236. So this guy got lucky. And then he wants us, wants us to put new blades on it. And there's the part number of the blade. 116-6358. And of course, I hope you know which way the blades go on. They go on this way. The little fins facing up. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about those pulleys. I forgot to mention those pulleys that the timed blades go on. Alright, guys got new blades. I'm gonna have to get my grass buster and scrape all that grass out from under there. This is a handy tool, this grass buster. And you can get this at Pro Parts Direct, and you can get all these parts at Pro Parts Direct. So yeah, gotta scrape all this grass out from under here. This is a really nice scraper. I really like it. What's special about it is, it's thin up here and it gets thicker back here. So it's got some flexibility and it's got a nice ergonomic handle. ProPartsDirect.net Look at that, Makes that so easy. Beautiful, beautiful. We like our friends over there at Pro Park. They're good people. All right, so now we got our timing all set. New blades on. So I want to go over these pulleys. Check all the teeth on these pulleys because if you hit something, you might have broke some of them, them teeth off. So you're going to want to check those. And you're going to want to check these pulleys too because inside here is plastic. This is plastic in there and sometimes it gets wore down depending on how much you use it. Now you can't replace it, there's no replaceable parts, you got to get the whole pull. So that's all there is to re-timing the blades on one of these Time Masters. Ain't my Time Master, I'm the Time Master. And there's your dinner. Yeah, that thing's hard to get off of there. <laughs>
Who's that, Pa? Oh, it's him again. Who, Cheapskate Nate? Well, it's only been him and Slippers in here all day long. Uh, again? What does he want this time? Oh, hey, fellas. Hey, what's going on, Nate? Hey, Nate. I was wondering how much for some air for this tire. Uh, air is 50 cents. Oh, wow. 50 cents. I remember when air was nickel. Well, it's 50 cents, especially when you're breathing my air. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, bro. <laughs> oh, well, uh, y'all wouldn't happen to have some used air laying around somewhere, would you? Used air? We're all out of used air. Sir, I think it's time for you to leave. Well, fine then. I see how it is. I'll just go to Gordy's across the street and get me some then. Yeah, go to Gordy's. It's yeah. not going to be any cheaper. He's got lots of used air over there. <laughs> used air. <laughs> what a knucklehead. Oh!